Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion with uh, the subject of sensors, transducers and instrumentation and we're discussing about the measurement of humidity or moisture levels with the help of hygrometers and so far we have discussed about resistive and capacitive hygrometer. So in this video we are going to discuss about another commonly used hygrometer which is piezoelectric hygrometer. So, we all know that uh, the hydrometers, they are used for uh, the measurement of humidity or moisture levels and here we are going to use piezoelectric crystals uh, as the main sensing element which will respond to change in moisture levels in the environment. So, we know that uh, humidity is the amount of moisture, water vapor present in a gas or any substance and generally humidity is measured in terms of absolute humidity, specific humidity and relative humidity. But for uh, sensors and transducers, relative humidity is basically used uh, to give the output okay, in terms of relative humidity which is further calibrated in terms of uh, electrical output such as voltage, current or frequency change. So, before uh, discussing piezoelectric hygrometers, let us first uh, have a quick look at what are piezoelectric materials. So, a piezoelectric material is one in which when we apply a force or pressure uh, to the crystal, it undergoes deformation and as a result of that, an electric potential uh, is obtained across its ends, a piezoelectric potential is developed. This is called as piezoelectric effect. And also another phenomena which comes into play here is that if uh, alternating potential voltage is applied across the two ends of the piezoelectric crystal, the, mater the material will undergo deformation and will vibrate, oscillate with a certain frequency. Now it is this property which is used for uh, the purpose of piezoelectric hygrometers, the inverse piezoelectric effect. So let us see how this property is utilized. So in piezoelectric hygrometers, the basic setup consists of a piezoelectric crystal now mainly quartz crystal is used, so piezoelectric materials there are of different types, natural crystals and synthetic crystals. Natural ones are quartz, tourmaline and mainly for uh, uh, design of uh, piezoelectric hygrometers, quartz is used, okay. So quartz is used, so in synthetic we have rochel salt, lithium sulphate, uh, dipotassium tartar, there are many other but mainly you will find quartz as uh, the main piezoelectric uh, material used for hygrometers. So we'll have the piezoelectric crystal, then we'll have some hygroscopic material coated over the crystal. Hygroscopic materials are those which allow the, uh, the moisture to pass through them, okay. And then we will have the measuring electrodes which are connected to the crystal. So, the basic setup it looks something like this, the piezoelectric crystal, the hygroscopic uh, coating to allow the passing of the mo moisture to reach the piezoelectric crystal surface and then the electrodes connected to lead wires so that it can be connected to further signal conditioning circuitry to give us an electrical output. So how this whole setup works, so when this uh, sensor is exposed to a moist environment the moisture it passes through the hygroscopic coating to the piezoelectric crystal. Now when the moisture it passes and reaches the piezoelectric crystal, what happens is that the mass of this crystal it starts to increase. Okay. Now because of this, because of this uh, increase in the mass of the piezoelectric crystal, the vibration frequency, okay, that will vary, that will change, okay. Now when we connect a AC 
potential AC voltage across the two electrodes and we supply a voltage, the crystal will vibrate with a certain frequency which is given by this. F is equal to 1 by 2 pi root over of Kp by M where Kp is the stiffness constant of the piezoelectric crystal and M is the mass. Now when moisture accumulates over the piezoelectric crystal after passing through the hygroscopic coating, the mass of the piezoelectric crystal will certainly increase. When moisture accumulates over the piezoelectric crystal, the mass of the crystal will increase. So when mass of the crystal increases, this will affect the frequency of oscillation of the piezoelectric crystal. And this is how we know that with the change in the frequency of the piezoelectric crystal, we can know how much of extra moisture has accumulated over the piezoelectric crystal which has caused a change in this much amount of frequency. Okay? And that again depends on the relative humidity and we, uh, the sensor is calibrated with a particular, we can uh, connect it with the help of crystal oscillator circuits to get us an output which is calibrated directly in terms of uh, the relative humidity. So this is the main uh, operating principle. Mass of water vapor accumulating over the piezoelectric crystal causes an increase in the mass of the crystal and this in turn affects the vibration or oscillation frequency when an alternating voltage is applied across this piezoelectric crystal. So here the inverse piezoelectric effect comes into play and also this uh, mathematical formula comes into play which directly correlates frequency of oscillation and mass. Mass is dependent on moisture levels. Okay? So this is the basic uh, uh, concept related to piezoelectric hygrometer. Okay? So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology. Have a great day. Thank you very much.